Hey everyone, Brian here with DIY Outdoor Life. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Bouge RV Flash 300. As you can see, it's getting a little chilly here at home, but that means it's the best time of year to shop for portable power stations. There's new technology available on the market, and they're competing for your business in the holiday season. Now, in my opinion, if you're looking for a small portable power station, you really have three options right now. EcoFlow River 2, Blue Eddy EB3A, or the Bouge RV Flash 300. These small portable power stations have stepped above the competition with their capabilities and their pricing is comparable. So you have three options here today. I'm gonna to review all three of them and I'll do a video with a side-by-side -side comparison coming up here in the next few weeks. But for today, we're talking about the Bouge RV Flash 300. So let's get right into this. Bouge RV makes an excellent DC refrigerator. They make some of my favorite solar panels, but their business model has seemed to be make a solid product for an excellent price. That's what surprised me when I saw the cut sheet on this Flash 300. They are not trying to land, you know, 75% of the way through the market. They are shooting to make the best portable power station available, and their price is a little bit higher than the competition. Exact price, check in the link below. It changes every day with these new coupon codes. However, I'll put the exact size of this power station on the screen and the exact weight of this power station on the screen. It is a 286 watt hour portable power station. So it's slightly bigger than the two models that it's competing against. Now, as far as the design, hey now, and build quality, you have good ABS plastic. They went with a three handle design. So you can do the one hand carry, or you can use two hands if you're gonna put it up on a shelf or something. Nice flat top on this system. So they have a really good design. Now the top of this model has a wireless cell phone charger, 15 watts. So that's gonna be different than the EcoFlow model that wasn't included on that model. A lot of people are gonna love that on this smaller size portable power station. On the back, we have a nice wide light here. This gives a lot of lumens out. It's a very bright light. Now, when they put a light on like a 60 pound power station, it's not as usable as these small, tiny units. You can bring this outside at the campsite or while you're working to illuminate where you are. Now those features are cool, but that's not really what sets this unit apart. Let's get right into the exciting stuff. On the side of this unit, they have an AC wall charger. It's built in. This is a huge improvement over having to bring a block charger with you. You just need this included AC cable. If you forget this at home, they sell this at every hardware store. So a huge improvement over the old blocks, but all three of these new units that I'm talking about have that. What sets this one apart is that they put a 600 watt charger into this. A 600 watt charger is gonna charge this unit from zero to 90% in 30 minutes. We are getting charge times out of these new units that I didn't think would be possible for many years. Zero to 90% in 30 minutes is really, really fast and the fastest on the market. Now, the EB3A and the EcoFlow River 2 have that built-in charger and it's fast too. It's not as fast as this, but you're looking at getting 100% state of charge in an hour or less. The EB3A takes a little bit longer. So this unit is fast, but the difference between 50 minutes and 30 minutes is not as much as two hours and four hours. So you have to decide whether this lightning fast charging capability makes a difference for you. For me, I see the usability. Uh, I talked about this in a previous video. If you're at a campsite and you bring it into the bathroom, uh, the time it takes you to brush your teeth and wash your face in the morning, this thing is charged up off the outlet that comes in the bathroom. So there is a super practical use for this lightning fast charger, or maybe you're just super impatient. Now, something that the Flash 300 does that the competition doesn't even come close to is there is an Anderson connection here for the solar MPPT. 
it also gives you a 600 watt charge capability, zero to 90% in 30 minutes off full solar capability. This is nowhere near the competition. Uh, EcoFlow is giving you like 120 watts. Uh, Blue Eddy gives you 200 watts, but they're both parallel connection only. This has a 45 volt capability, meaning you can put your panels in series if you want. 600 watts of solar charging on a unit like this is nothing like I've ever seen. At first, I wondered if this was even practical. Who would take a small system like this and bring eight or 900 watts of solar panels with you? That's how much you would need to max this system out. What I found is that if you have solar panels on the roof of your RV, maybe you already have a big solar array, or you have a bigger setup for your larger portable power stations, you can actually swap back and forth and charge this unit off that huge solar array. You can't do that with those smaller systems. You definitely can't use the higher voltage series connected solar panels. So this might be overkill, but I think some people are gonna be super excited about the fastest solar charging on any portable power station. So now that we have those groundbreaking features out of the way, everything else here is pretty standard with the competition. You have a regulated DC plug. It's about 80% efficient. That's not a bad number for these plugs and it holds over 13 volts. You have your little DC connection ports that come on every power station. You have three USBs, two normal ones, including a fast charge USB-A. But this unit also has a bi-directional USB power delivery. That means if you have a tablet or laptop, you're gonna get a lightning fast charge, but you can use that charger to charge this system. So you have solar, wall charging, car charging, and USB power delivery charging. Since the wall charger is so lightning fast, it makes no difference. There's no sense charging from the wall and the power delivery at the same time. You won't get better numbers. But it did allow me to dual charge through a car and solar. So if you have a power delivery solar panel, you can plug this in in addition to your other solar setup. You're not gonna get over 600 watts, but it will use both of them. So in these conditions, I couldn't even max that out. But if you have 400 watts of normal solar that'll go in through the Anderson power pole, they even give you, that's the car charger, they even give you an MC4 to Anderson adapter. You can use any solar panel that you want. Once you uh, max out what you can do here, you can also use one of those portable panels to boost that charge through power delivery. Um, the features on these things are just off the charts. Now I told you about the wireless charger on the top. You can place your cell phone up here, turn the USB section on, eh, dropping things, and you can get a cell phone charge from the wireless charger that's on top of this. Over here, you have two AC outlets, pure sine wave, 600 watts. The ability to use 600 watts is pretty crazy. Keep in mind, if you plug a 600 watt load into this, it's gonna run for about 15 minutes. So for continuous use, that's not a practical feature. But what this is gonna allow people to do, let's say you have a little tiny breakfast blender or one of those uh, like bullets that make your breakfast at camp, you're not gonna run that continuously. You might only need to run that for 45 seconds. You now have the capability to do that on one of these tiny portable power stations where the older competition was giving you 200 watts, 300 watts. You now have a 600 watt continuous capability. Now, this is the same 80% efficiency as the DC output. This is pretty industry standard, but it's 5% higher than the EcoFlow that we tested. So in addition to the battery being larger, you're also going to get 5% more out of it through the DC or AC connections. This is going to be a big deal, especially seeing that they're using a ternary lithium battery. The Blue Eddy and the EcoFlow are using LifePo. There's gonna be more cycles in those batteries. However, 
This battery is rated for 700 cycles before it loses 20%. Since the battery starts at a bigger size than the competition and the efficiency is higher, even after 700 cycles, you're going to have a comparable amount of power that you get out of this unit. I hope people understand that. How much power you get out of the unit depends on the efficiency and the battery capacity. That makes this a system that is sitting at the top of the line. So whether you like the features of the EcoFlow or the EB3A, they're all comparable systems. Which one meets your needs the best? But there's no doubt about it, this system has to be considered as one of the best on the market. So to finish this video up, there is a screen on here. It's pretty standard, but they give you everything at the same time. I'm gonna turn that screen on. So it gives you state of charge, how much watts are coming in through the different types of charging methods, how many watts are going out, and you don't have to cycle between those uh, displays. It tells you both of them at the same time. So overall, the things that I love about this system, I like when Evil Knievel jumps over a bunch of buses. <laughs> this system is giving you features that are completely off the charts from what was available even as soon as last year. The build quality is good. Everything about it seems solid. What don't I like about this system? Well, even with these floating promo codes, it seems like this system's gonna cost about $50 more than the competition. What you're paying for is the off the chart solar charging capability. If that's important to you, this is the system you wanna go with. If you don't have a photovoltaic array of that size, well, it might be worth saving the money and looking at that EcoFlow or the Blue Eddy. I told you it came with the MC4. I love Anderson for a solar input. They also included a wall charger. Everything comes with it. Folks, it's kind of cold out here. That's my fast forward version of trying to include everything that you need to know about this Flash 300. I love this system. Let's wait for that side-by-side -side where we test these things out in front of each other to see who does better in each of the metrics we use to test portable power stations. I really appreciate you guys watching. I will include my exclusive promo codes and I will adjust the Amazon links for the best pricing available on this system. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and ask. I will see you guys next time.